Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So I hope y'all are able to see um, in here right now. I'm going to turn the camera around in just a second. Yesterday, we had lots and lots and lots of rain. I'm talking about all day long. And the wheelbarrow was so full. But if you haven't checked out our last video, I'm going to link it because we also had some type of visitor to come and just, you know, go crazy with the fertilizer. But still a little bit cool. It's expected to get colder, but I'm inside today because I want to share with you all what I do once my seedlings get started, start getting the true leaves. This is what I'm doing. I'm really not supposed to be in the kitchen, so I'm finna hurry up and get ready to get this done, and then I'll take everything back to the seed starting room, but I just didn't feel like continuing to walk in the bathroom and walk out. I felt like this is like a one-stop shop real quick. And then we'll uh, take everything downstairs. So I explain everything that I'm doing. Seedlings are doing great, y'all. I am starting so many different seeds. And I'm saying to myself, you better know what you're going to do with it. But I do. Like these are going to start going out, which is the lettuce seeds that I'm going to show you. They're going to start going out in the cooler weather, but I did. I've planted um, a whole bunch of things, but I'd rather have enough than not have any at all. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so we have started this is the it's a global mix so it's like a cut and come again seeds i wanted to go ahead and start these seeds because they were pelleted seeds and sometimes i do notice with the pelleted seeds sometimes over and these are not this year i think they're either last year or the year before that but i was like i need to go ahead and plant these and um, oftentimes I will see that the pelleted seeds, like they don't last as long as like your regular seeds, but great germination rate still. Um, I think I did plant like two per cell tray right here, but I'm going to try my best to flash a picture up for you, but there are two type of mixes. So this is like the Simply Global Mix um, on this side and then right here, if I turn the camera around, this is like the alfresco mix. And I have another tray that is downstairs too that I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. They look so good and so pretty. And so probably in a few weeks, what I'll do is I'll start hardening them off. And then we'll, these are, are going to be like the first thing to go in the spring garden because lettuce does really well for us in fall and the spring. Towards the summertime, when it gets hot, they actually start to bolt. But this is what I wanted to share with you today. So when I start seeds, y'all, once they start getting their true leaves, so if you notice when you start leaves, all the leaves will have what's called like a cotyledon leaf, where they kind of all look the same. Um, these are more, per some of them are purple because that is gonna be the color, color of the lettuce, but still, they have like these seeds that they look the same. But once they start getting what's known as their true leaves, when I seed start inside, and not all of them have true leaves, but enough of them have true leaves for me to go ahead and do this. I'm trying to stay on schedule, y'all. So once they start to get their true leaves, I like to come in with a liquid fertilizer, but I don't use full strength. I use a very light strength and this is normally what I will use because it's already light. So let me put it right here so you can see it. This is a Spoma Start. Um, it's also a fertilizer that you can use like just say for instance that you go and pick up a plant from the garden center and you kind of repot it you know, you can put that on there too. I use this quite a lot, but what I do is I dilute it and I will feed my seedlings. I will feed my seedlings this. And if we look on the back, like I said, it's, it's really, is an organic fertilizer. It's one, two, two, meaning um, the nitrogen, the, uh, let me get it right, y'all, the phosphorus and the potassium. 
So it's very light and then it also has other nutrients in here as well. But what I do is I just dilute it. Like I say, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to use this container right here. This is the container that I use. Um, and I'm just going to put a very little bit in here and then I'm going to fill the rest up with water. And y'all know when I seed start, what I like to do is I like to do what's called bottom watering. So basically I'm going to lift this up and I am going to put the water down here in the tray. That's why I like um, these trays as well. That way the plants will go seek the water. To me, this is what builds your strong root system with the plant. So they'll go down and you can see some of them already have roots that are coming out of the bottom. Now we definitely don't want these roots to start wrapping, but they are going to look for those roots and then they're gonna take up the water and the nutrients through the roots. Now I still do top watering from time to time, but in the beginning phases, I do like to build good roots. So again, I'm just going to do a light fertilization. I'm going to dilute it down very light because I don't want it to be overpowering too strong for the seedlings and potentially, you know, uh, the seedlings don't make it because oftentimes when you use too strong of a fertilizer, you'll notice that the plant may have like a burnt look to it or it just might check out. Y'all know what I mean by that. So we don't want to do that. So that's why I go in light. Now, as it continues to grow and get bigger, then I'll start to add a little bit more uh, fertilizer as um, directed by like the back of, of the package. But when they're small like this, I don't like to come in, you know, real strong and really uh, fertilize them like that. So I'm going to do that. And then again, Probably about, I want to say in the next two to four weeks, I'm going to start hardening these off. And these are going to be some of the first plants that we put into our spring garden. I definitely have been watching the weather. Um, now, what I will tell you is the lettuce that we have in the garden now, um, some of it has checked out. We got down to like 25, but some of them are okay. It's just certain areas that they're at. We do have some really cold weather coming up uh, over the next week, I think in 17, at about 17 low. So I'm going to make sure that I go out and protect our plants. I'm really, even if I had to do it two or three days before, I'm going to protect them um, as best as I can with what we have here. <laughs> y'all is when I bottom water I let the water sit for you know some minutes maybe 20 30 minutes so that the plant can soak up everything that is that it needs but if there's any excess water left over I will take it and probably you know like pour it on something else pour it on another plant because I don't want the plants to sit in water either so I'm gonna let this sit here probably about 20 30 minutes and it's going to soak it up like you'll see these dry areas right here you'll see them start to become moist and um, become wet I, I think it's just so amazing how these plants can take those roots pull that water up and feed feed the plant so you'll start to see these again the dry drier looking areas you'll start to see them um, start to take color and look darker because they're taking up that water. Okay, y'all, so it's more like maybe 30, 40 minutes later, but I wanted to show you the change of the soil, and I also wanted to lift this up so that you can see a little bit of water left, but not a lot from what was first put in there. So again, I'll pour the rest of this off, and then... As a matter of fact, I'll use it in the other container. But look at the difference. 
Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna let this go ahead, soak up the water. I have one more tray, the exact same with the alfresco and the global mix that I'm gonna go down and go ahead and let that, um, pull that up and go ahead and feed that too. And then um, some of my other plants. So basically when I start plants, once they, again, once they start getting the true leaves, I start giving them a light fertilization. So I'm gonna see everything that needs to be fed. I'm gonna give them a feeding and then we're gonna take them back down to the seed starting area. So I hope this was helpful. Make sure you put in the comments if you're starting seeds. And if you are, what type of seeds are you starting? Now in the next probably four to six weeks, we're going to get started with some of our summer vegetables. But I wanted to go ahead, get all of the spring vegetables and flowers and herbs started um, so that we can have them ready and hardened off when the weather starts to warm up. Y'all know how quick these weeks, these days, these months, these years are passing by. So I definitely want to stay on task with that. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so much so much for watching and until the next video bye bye